we were saying, we have our final finalists of the day ready to go. So let's find out how it all pans out between Irma and Max. Our final game of the day. And the thing that sticks in the mind is obviously how Irma got here, but you have to remember the the butterfly effect of things that had to happen for that to be even a scenario in the first place was Axe winning his game and the result that he got. Yeah, well, interestingly, both the console final and the mobile platform final are both echoes of the first games that happened on each platform today. If you cast your mind back as to the result in the game between these two at the, third, at the start of the day, it was a 3-2 victory for Irma, which we didn't get to see on the live stream. So this is going to be very intriguing to see how these two mesh on the live stream, especially in a console final. That we are. It's Axe from Japan starting things off really nicely. Could have gone and anywhere. Is out of play. As you said, that could have gone anywhere. It's Irma in the home strip. Oh, it's just bending away Ooh. from goal, isn't it? And the ricochet could have gone anywhere off the deflection as well. <laughs> I'm just surprised every time a chance happens because I'm very much... I, I just I don't quite know how it's going to really pan out here because this... Again, we've seen far too many things today that we didn't think were possible. We've seen last-minute goals. We've seen deflections lead to opportunities. It just... It's just chaos. Well, what is at stake is, of course, the chance to represent Arsenal at the World Finals in Tokyo later on in the summer, but also that trophy you see spinning at the bottom of your screens. Irma in the home strip, as we said, blue cursor for him, the red cursor away strip will be Axe. And he looks very threatening here, obviously had that we had that early chance. And I think we can apply the same label that we applied to as Maccaville to Irma now, in that as long as there's something to play for, he can be down, but he's never out. Something that no doubt Axe will have to contend with. As you said, Wes, had a close counter between these two in the opening heat. Didn't see it on stream, but... Irma 3-2 the victor that time, but plenty of goals. Now Axe can attempt to turn the screw. Psychological advantage coming into this one will be with our Romanian representative, Erdegaard, for Axe. Dispossessed by Tommy Yasu. It's been a good spell of possession here for Axe. Very open, opening 20. Ball has barely gone out of place since that chance. Kai Havertz, here for Axe, using his strength and his body as well. Ketia, Erdegaard, Smith Rowe all combining. Been a very strong start to the game from Axe. You just want to see Irma take care of the ball a little bit more because he's had to be on the back foot. He's found in Ketia though. Bit of an opening there potentially for a strike there. He didn't use it. And Ketia once more on the Asu this time. Yeah, it's, it's seemingly the openings that are popping open here as Ketia looks to find Jesus. Seemingly seems to be these little pockets for Irma to try and find a ball in. Half an hour gone. Trossard. Oh, 
Both men's attacks have been unsuccessful so far. Possession turning over. It's just speaking to the occasion a little bit. We know how closely they fought in the group stages. They rematch here in the grand final. Also, you just have to wonder if Irma is just a bit gassed out after that last grasp equaliser that got him qualified to this grand final. Has some defending to do here. Much of that defensive concentration does he have left. Ben White winning the duel against Saka. Yeah, well, we've certainly seen from, from seasons past that Irma is a player that plays on emotion. And, of course, there's that big adrenaline hit that he will no doubt have had from pulling himself out of the fire, so to speak, in the last group game. It's just a case of that crash that then happens and then you've got to get yourself back up for another game. And, you know, we, we say it a lot in terms of, well, there are any players on a stick, you know, on a, on a controller. It can't be that bad. It, it really is. It's, it's something to really kind of think oh, about. That's a really inviting ball for Jesus to give chase. Smothered defensively. Just to speak to how open the first half has been and how much the ball has stayed in play. Referee's assistant says no minutes needed to be added on here. Havertz can win the header. Tommy Asu away. This should be the end of a very, very close first half. Nil-nil. Oh, it's just so nervy. I mean, we've seen Irma in this position before. It's, a, it's almost a completely different game, although the circumstances are the same to that when he played with Maka Beal. Goalless at half-time, took a long time, took 92 minutes to break the deadlock. It's almost a different set of circumstances. I mean, an entirely different thing at stake in the, the trophy spot at the World Finals. But although the, the situation has minor differences, he finds himself in it again. Yeah, it's, it's really, really nervy. It, 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 between these two players, it, it seemingly is a case that nobody really wants to make an error. Nobody wants to kind of break the lines first because, again, once you break the lines, you may leave gaps and opportunities for your opponent to counter-attack, and that is not something you want to give, especially to either one of these players. Start the second half with Irma in the home strip. Attacking that left-hand goal. See Axe come the other way in the away strip. We've had the pleasure of commentating him, albeit in a dis different discipline of eFootball in two versus two, but at the eAsian Cup earlier on in the year. Runner-up then. But he is a promising up-and-coming eFootball player, just still writing the story of his career, 23 years old. He's essentially on the brink of greatness here. That's dangerous, though. Tough to really surmise Axe when you see him in a, a co-op scenario. He's passed the eye test so far from what we've seen of him in the one versus one competition that is the Arsenal FC club event finals. Yeah, he certainly looked to be the part up to this point. Again, you, you again look at the results that he had. It was a narrow loss to Irma in the opening game. He then narrowly beat us Maccabeel. He then narrowly beat in the third game. And as a result, hasn't really looked back since. It shouldn't come to anyone as a surprise that this one is as close as it is. When you look at the final standings of the group stages, just minor margins enabled Irma to get to this point. Trossard has not stayed on side. It'll find the back of the net, but just a step too early. Or rather, the pass came a step too late. Yeah, it depends on where you're going and where you're coming from. But yeah, quite rightly, 
flagged as offside. And this is where that tension just ratchets up. In these pause periods, it, it, it's almost as though it's a kind of a mental break, is that it then starts to make you think. Mm. Because when you're on that pause menu, you've got time to think and go, OK, is my game plan working? Do I need to tweak it? Do I need to just move that player? What do I need to do here? And it's almost as though, in some regards, when it's nil-nil, you don't really want a pause break. You don't want to, because you want to try and get the first goal, and then you can sit back and go, ah, OK, I can take a breath, and I have the lead, and, and there's a lot of different mindset. Whereas here, it acts as though you're a men it's a mental break that you don't really want, because, again, this deep into the game at the moment, you don't really want to think about what might be and what could still be. Well, Axe has a chance here, Trossard. Just ran beyond him. The changes have been made and you're right at nil-nil. You almost don't want to zoom out too far. Lovely ball towards Havertz. That's defensive intervention much needed by Irma. Fair few goals this year from Arsenal, from set pieces. Would this be another one as Tomiyasu lends his head towards it? Maybe best chance of the game so far for Max. Yeah, there's not been too many clear-cut opportunities. They're my favourite phase, they've had chances to have chances because there have been those moments where if the right pass is selected, it could cause a real big problem. And that set piece there it just wasn't met cleanly enough at the header starting to grow into this second half now as Havertz and Martinelli asking the question and Trossard back to Smith Rowe finally clear by Irma's Declan Rice now there's a break on Jesus has the burners but can't turn them on yeah there's a bit of a slight miscommunication between goalkeeper and defender but Ramsdale did come out and take it away you can almost see the urgency in Irma trying to get it away I think he knows the game that he's in at the moment 15 minutes left and, and a reminder as Trossard might be able to feed Jesus it's level at the 90 we will have extra time and penalties to call upon We need a winner here. The longer the time ticks down, the closer we get to next goal wins territory. That will be fresh on the mind of both of our finalists. Irma coming forward. Marty able to turn. It's along the floor towards Jesus. Ball up to Gabo Jesus again. Seems like both defences doing a really good job of nullifying each other. Gabriel Martinelli will have to try and outrun Tommy Asu. And he's brought down. Referee sees no problem. Five minutes till the 90. Trossard, Martinelli, Havertz! Big, big save. Irma living dangerously. Rossard is... Well... Dispossessed, pocket-picked by... The man on your screen and Irma... Has lived so dangerously up to this point in this competition here today. Final attack is there. One minute added on, the pass is lacking. Jorginho will collect, and is the referee going to be generous here? I think he will. Saliba is in. Saliba clears. And we are going to extra time. Nerve wracking is what this is for both of these players. You can see almost the urgency to try and just keep the ball away from their own penalty box. Yeah. There is an urgency to get it away. Uh, that's where those nerves start to creep in. And, and granted, we, we see bravado from, from eFootball athletes 
th throughout the course of the season. When it comes down to the human side of it, that the, there's a mask that they will put on. These guys will be feeling the nerves right now because they know what's at stake. You you have uh, kind of bookended this brilliantly throughout the season is that these spots are, are dwindling. That there's not many spots left. They will know that their opportunity is here and now. Extra time's underway. It is Irma attacking his right-hand goal. Thomas Party, Jesus, Martinelli is suffocating. It's Martinelli! Great save. Smart manual save. Big, big save, and it was needed. Again, the ball was bouncing around. Ricochet was good recycling of the ball. Those steps, challenges from Axe. It's got to be careful there because it was one way either side or one step in the wrong direction. And there's a penalty that could have easily been given there, so he's got to be careful. Must be careful around this corner as well. Havertz front post. Oh, Rice has hit it. And... But of course, Ramsdale, a little bit of trouble there. Those are difficult to deal with when they bounce. Right in front of you, but you are very right, Wes, to bring up the fact that you already have four finalists for console. We have Futi Fasil, Real Fabiano, Kalahard. We have Takaki all waiting, all watching to see who will be joining them, who will prevail. Irma or Axe? To that really good chance at the start of extra time. The onus now is on Axe. We have about five to go until this period comes to a close. But the, the worry for Axe now is that he just seems to be fizzling out a little bit. Irma on the offensive. Kai Havertz. There's a real chance now for Irma with the double touch. He Great defended. Used that move before, but you're right, Wes. It's really good defending there by Axe. Well, the ball given away here, Trossard. Great tackle, Trossard. Havertz was the man waiting, but cleared by Irma. No minutes added on, so the ball must go forward for both men. And it's unsuccessful, and we go to another period of extra time, Wes. It's nail biting, nail biting between these two, and there's no quarter given we, we said that the the group stage game finished 3-2 yeah we, we may have or well, probably should have hastened to say that, that the mentality is a lot different in a group game between uh, that and a knockout game because of course in a group game you have the ability to draw you have the ability to you know take a point and you know live to fight another day here we need a winner will we find one in the next 15 or will it be the luck of the draw. The lottery that is the penalty shootout. We've had a couple of world finalists decide by, decided by penalties this year. Are we destined to go there again? It's too tight to call between these two at the moment. Long throw. Havertz versus Tommy Yasu wins the header. Smith Rowe on the edge of the box. Defensive duties on the line there. Now Kai Havertz and Irma can start to venture forward, but been pressed so far back into his own half. Now the chance might appear. Jesus. He's dispossessed. Approaching five minutes left. Almost just seems destined to go to spot kicks here, Wes. Unless there's a final twist. I was going to say, if it goes to penalties, if you've got a couch I can hide behind, because penalty shootouts have not been my friend as of late. 
Jorginho, though, for Axe. Trossard can't control the ball. Console group stage was an absolute passion pit. Havertz and Trossard, it breaks for him! Oh. For the third time in the game, Ramsdale down to his right saves Adrian Irma. And again, it's another big save, but again, it's, it's almost a lack of composure there from Axel. If he gets it out of his feet, if he gets it out of his feet and gets a bit more purchase on it, you could sense that may have just ended up in the back of the net. Well, the problem for Irma is this ball, as we're approaching the final throws of extra time, it's so far in his own half, he won't have a chance to try and win the game. He can only hope for spot kicks at this point, and I think that's where we'll be heading, Wes. Oh. The Arsenal <laughs> FC Club Event Finals. Give me strength. <laughs> the console platform will be decided in a penalty shootout. How are your nerves? <laughs> How are your nerves here? That, that, that's the real question. There's no real definitive chances that we could really say should have been put away outside of a manual save or two from Irma. And now it is going down to penalty kicks. And as you can see from the stats on your screen, oh, not the greatest of penalty kick takers, might I add. And of course, what that does to the penalty aiming, shall we say, is it makes that targeting circle all that much bigger. Irma steps up first, wastes no time and tucks it home. Straight away. Scores the first penalty. Over to Axe now with Declan Rice. Well, it went the right way. Really good finish, especially into the side of the net. You can't really save those. Pressure swings back the other way. Martinelli is saved. It's saved by Axe. And now, arguably, the penalty specialist, Jorginho, saved as well. Hold on to your hats, folks. Both men scored one, missed one. Penalty number three, Havertz scores. Advantage, Irma. Now, Axe with Trossard, oh! Called it as well, Ramsdale called it. It's an armor save. And if he scores this with Gabriel Jesus, which he does. He's on the hill. It puts all of the pressure on this kick from Martinelli. Oh, ice in the veins there from Axe. But now, Championship point for Irma to represent Arsenal. It will be Declan Rice, Ooh. and he scores! Just into the corner, just. And Irma will be your champion. He was just seconds away from elimination, but the story of Irma continues. He will be your representative at the World Finals, your console champion, it's Irma. Yeah, to be seconds from defeat and seconds of elimination. And he's now found himself going to Tokyo at the World Finals in July. What a performance from him. Again, in the penalty shootouts, of course, he was the first one to have a penalty saved. Again, more mentality shown and more personality yeah. shown by him. He's a man for the big occasions, is Irma, and he's proved it here today. And what can you say? This man just loves knockout competition. He will be a very strong representative at the World Finals. And we add another nation to our growing list. Romania will have themselves a representative at the World Finals. Yeah, I think it's kind of getting very evenly balanced between the regions now. You've got Asia and Oceania, you've got Europe, and you've got South America and Central America. They're all just starting to just have the the kind of the formation of, as we said, a cultural melting pot that is yeah. going to exist in Tokyo. 
in the summer. I will say there were chances in, in the 90 and 120 for Axe and commiserations, of course, to uh, Shunpai Hashiki. Axe, 23 years old, was a runner-up at the E Asian Cup. Sadly for him, a runner-up here again today. But in terms of the overall outlook of his career, we expect to see him again improve and reiterate and improve and one day make it over the line. Yeah, 100%. Again, he just kind of showed the, the level, really. We, you know, we, we made mention of the fact that you know, myself, I'd only seen him in, in the come-up format. Yeah. Now I've seen him in 1v1. I've seen the level. And again, his own personality to bring himself back from the brink, to go and beat Buzz McAbeel, oh. to go and get himself into this final this chance after was. losing the first one. But this, this chance was golden. If he just took him one more touch and set himself minute. up. I know, it's, but it's those, as we say, it's sitting here in cold blood, sitting yeah. here where there's, there's nothing riding on the line for it for us. But... It was these types of moments. Brilliant save here. And again, another big save. And it was just right into the corner for that final penalty. And it was Declan Rice that was the match winner for Irma. It's just yet another unbelievable. It's like he had plot armor here today. <laughs> Adrian Irma comes through and represents Arsenal, the winner of the console platform, Semra, and will be able to lift this trophy. We'll keep it closing. It's for his. We'll keep it closing. <laughs> I tell you what, though, the Japanese, he had a real axe to grind after losing to Irma in the first game of the day. He wasn't able to bring the axe in the end to deliver that killer blow. See where I'm going with this? Yeah, it's my yeah. last opportunity. I have to get yeah, it all out. I've got to get it all out now. <laughs> but listen, it was a very different game from what we saw. It was much closer. It was much cagier. It was really a fine tactical battle. So very different to that open game that we saw with five goals in it. This from going all the way down to the very bitter end, one penalty making all the difference. I mean, congratulations to Edmar, really, you have to say, because it was very well played, actually, on both sides. It really was, and the difference, as Wes said in the commentary, is that the group stages, you can kind of throw caution to the wind a little bit. The, the knockout final, you can't put a single foot wrong, and both men really rose to the occasion and put their best foot forward, I think, on any other day, I feel like Axe buries some of those chances. Mm -hmm. On any other day, Irma buries some chances. So it really could have gone either way. I know that's on the fence, but the main point stands is that mm. Irma will be representing the, the Gunners at, at the World Championships. It really is going to be a very nice lineup. You pointed out that we're going to have a wide range of nationalities, a nice mix of people from all over the world that are going to be coming together. I mean, it really is nice to see that there is such high level of competition and how much the sport, how much this game is actually growing and how we can actually see new faces mixed amongst some of the veterans, some of the more experienced players as well. They get seriously challenged and the ways perhaps they weren't before. But listen, we have Urma with us. So why don't we catch up with the main man, the main attraction for right now. Congratulations. Of course, this is something you're very familiar with, having won many competitions yourself. But how does it feel this time around to be heading to Japan to represent Arsenal as the winner of console for today? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm very happy and proud because uh, I trained a lot. Uh, I like to, to play with Tasa because they, they are uh, good, uh, good players in the game, uh, good agility. Uh, and this, I'm very excited at the moment. I don't know how to, how to, how to speak. <laughs> well, listen, I want to get to the final and the methodology behind it in just a minute. But, but before we go there, let's do just a quick chronology of how you actually got to the final because Initially, you played Axe, you ended up beating him in a five-goal thriller, but then came one of the biggest games of the day against Uzmakabil. Left it really late, but you managed to get that point that sent you through. I mean, talk to me a little bit about the emotional roller coaster you must have been going through in that game and, and the approach, whether you were looking for the draw, whether you were looking for the win, but how you managed to pull off that, that comeback, that rescue mission in the end to get you into the final. Uh, against Uzma, Uzma Gabali was very, very strong. I know him, he know me. Uh, very hard game, but I played uh, for win because it's my style, always attack, attack. Mm. Uh, I was lucky because uh, I scored uh, the goal in 95 minutes. But uh, this, is, uh, this is football 
and now I'm happy. I'm happy to to be in the World Finals at Tokyo. Well, as he said, you love to attack, you love to score goals. You had three great opportunities in the final, but it was a very, very close game. It was very cagey, not a lot of opportunities on either side, very different from the first time that we saw you play against Axe. Why is it, do you think, that it was so different compared to the earlier game in the day between the two of you? Uh, I, I think the final uh, is different because uh, more adrenaline, it's, uh, it's hard, you know, you can't mistake. Because uh, if uh, if you don't play with focus, you you, you can lose uh, every everything in, in the game. But uh, now in the final, I want to I want to take my family, my girlfriend, and uh, all my uh, my friends because uh, I trained with uh, with them all days. My my friend Paneas of Euro 2020, and uh, I want to take uh, my family and all my friends. Well, brilliant. We'll certainly get that message across to everybody and to all of your supporters yeah. and followers as well. So I guess that you have it. It's about concentration, about not making mistakes, not taking too many risks yeah. in a final because the stakes are obviously so much higher than they are in the opening game of a group stage. But one final question about heading into Japan. Had you thought about it at any point in time while you were preparing for it today? Have you had any time now in the last few minutes to kind of think about it, let it sink in and how you might actually prepare and approach that one later on in a couple of months? Yeah, I, I will prepare for, uh, for our finals uh, as a all day because uh, it was my, my reach, uh, my reach before uh, the game. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we will be hard because all players are strong in our finals, but uh, uh, I will do I will do my best to 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 win. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. Have a wonderful time in Japan, and congratulations once more. Go out, Thank celebrate, you. have a great time today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See you ciao, in July. Ciao. ciao. See you. Ciao. ciao. <laughs>